On drop rate is a series where I can only receive an item within its wiki stated rate, but with a twist. If I receive the item before or on its rate, I get to keep everything earned during the episode, including the desired item. However, if I do not end up getting it, I have to forfeit all the loot earned to you guys, the viewers. Let's introduce today's challenge. Today we are entering the icy prison of the God Wars dungeon to take on one of Old School RuneScape's most controversial bosses, Nex. It's known as one of the most tedious and annoying bosses in the game, due to the length of the fight and how much unavoidable chip damage and prayer drain you suffer during the entire encounter. The boss can also only realistically be defeated in teams of two or more people, so this is the first episode I need a team to complete. The unique's drop rate always stays the same regardless of team size, however for each additional person I bring, halves the likelihood I receive the item in my name. Due to it being really hard to find consistent teams for this boss, I will be playing in varying team sizes. So to accurately keep track of drop rates, if anyone in my team receives our desired item, the challenge has been completed. And so finally, the item we are hunting in this video is the Nihil Horn, currently worth 362 million GP at a drop rate of 1 in 258. Nex is defeated with a combo of melee attacks and ranged attacks, so this is going to be my gear setup and inventory for this grind. My inventory is pretty much full with Sarah Domin Bruce and restores because of all that chip damage and prayer drain you suffer during the encounter. The gear setup is worth around 1 billion GP on its own, and the inventory is worth around 200,000 GP just in supplies. We actually managed to do it on our first trio ever. We actually got the kill and I was MVP as well on an 8 minute kill. Definitely can probably be improved quite a lot. Loot tracker has been fixed and it really shows how crazy the combat level of Nex is. 1001 is such a massive number. I honestly anticipated Nex in a 3-man would be very difficult, but it hasn't been that bad. After the first couple of attempts at learning the boss kind of in a 3-man, we have not really had any issues at all, but that is the second kill coming in. No one was really even close to dying, you can see the supplies, but no unique this time. No way. No way, as I just said, we haven't really died. Nick dies on the last tick when the boss dies, that is so unlucky, that was such a massive hit as well from the boss. It seems like our average kill is around 8 minutes long on Nex, and the banking between every single kill is around 2 to 3 minutes, so I guess you can say around 10 minutes per kill, and that means we're getting 6 kills an hour, so this is a very slow grind. Oh, and when this happens, we can actually do our back-to-back -back kills. You can actually cut out on the banking time, because on these supply drops you have so much that you can go again. Now, because I've done Nex before in a lot of masses, I've got most of the combat achievements. The only one I haven't done is a Nex duo, which is actually very difficult, even though we have good gear. So maybe we can get that done in this video, but maybe not. We'll have to see. Ooh, we finally got the Onyx Bolt Drop, that is probably the best non-unique item you can get. So we've been going at it for around one and a half hours now, and we're finally hitting the first two-digit KC of the boss, and we haven't seen any unique yet, but that could have changed with this one. No, not this time. But I did get MVP, and that means I get 10% more loot, and also have a higher chance of the unique being, if we would get one, in my name. So it's never a bad thing that I get MVP as much as possible for the collection log and just cool to see the item in my name. I think this is the only drop where I don't actually lose money on a kill that isn't a unique of course because the Saradome and Bruce and Restores are expensive. We're actually running the first 4-man and this is probably going to be quite a lot faster but I don't really want to go with more than 3 to 4 people because after that the splits are going to be smaller and smaller so I think from 3 to 4 people is going to be the maximum we ever run. Definitely felt slightly faster at least for- Oh! Yo, no way. The first four man we do, we have to split with another person. Okay, I'm not going to complain though, that's 13 KC, Sarite Van Braces, 172 million. What is that? That's going to be a nice split even on four people. I actually decided to just keep the Sarah Van Braces for myself and give everyone the split of 42.5 million GP each and I will be using the Sarah Van Braces later in the video but I was kind of scared of going with another switch at this point so I waited a couple of kills to get more used to the fight. This is editing alone, I actually realized I forgot to show you guys the collection log before I started going into this grind but this is what it currently looks like after I got the Sarah Van Braces. So I still have basically every single unique missing except the Nihil shards. So hopefully we can fill in a couple of these, make a lot of money and end off with a nice Nihil horn to win the video's challenge. 
And of course, we're going straight back in again for... Yo, what is happening? Both of them died at the same time. The back-to-back? -back? No! But a six-minute kill. That was vastly faster than the last one. And we're getting a bit better at four mans, I suppose. After only doing 5kc in the four man, the other guy got so tired of Nex, even with a split of 42 million GP. That is how draining this boss can be. So we're down to three man again for... Some sharks and prey pots. All right, we got the first nihil shards, 31 of them. These are actually used to make the ancient bruise and also to make, I think, the sarite crossbow with the nihil horn if you do get it. So that's what they're used for. They're on the collection log, but not too valuable. KC number 20 for blood runes and sharks and prey pots as well. Can't forget those. Me and Nick woke up earlier today and we're just going to be sending a couple of duos because we cannot find anyone who wants to join next at this time for a trio. So let's just give some practice to the duo achievement and see if we can actually manage to do it or how close we can get. Everything was actually going better than expected on our first duo attempt. We had a decent amount of food and we got to the ice phase. But then disaster struck. We got both prisoned in the same tile. And this means no one can break us out and we basically just got completely comboed out. And I think if this would not have happened, we could at least have made it to the last phase on our first attempt, which we were both very happy with. Now, on our second attempt, we did actually make it through the ice phase, and we were going to kill the last minion to go into the final phase. But at this point, you can see Nick running away. He's going to teleport out because he was completely out of supplies. And I had two Saradomi Brews and two Restores, as you can see at this point. So I would probably have been maybe able to do it, but it would have been very close. So we decided to reset. And on our third attempt, we made it to the last phase, but I was so low on supplies and I also missed the prayer flick at the end there. So I did go down. And of course, Nick can't really solo the last phase of 1000 HP. So at this point, we actually had a trio coming in as well. So we took a break, but we know we can do it now. I have to say, after only failing attempts on Nex and not getting any KC in duos, but being very close, admittedly, it feels nice to being able to get a KZ again. KZ number 21, Blood Runes and Nail Shards, not bad of a drop. Unfortunately, on this clip, I did not have the loot tracker up. I was doing some other activities where I removed it, but we got the first elite clue scroll of the grind. These are one in 48 drop rates, so we're probably only going to be seeing around five to six of them on the entire grind if we go on rate, but it's always nice to see them, and we're going to complete them at the end as usual. My timer says 7 hours and 30 minutes roughly is how long we've been doing next and we're finally hitting the actual drop rate of a unique item. 1 in 43. Of course we've already got the Sarai Van Bracer, so we shouldn't expect anything here. One of Samurak and some coins but yeah that is how long on average in a trio I guess you could say in some formats that it takes to actually get a big drop which all of them are like 200 300 million so every seven hours you should see one of those massive items because we're banking between every single next skill pretty much we have to have kc to enter the boss room every single time and because i have the hard combat achievements completed i need 35 kc per time so what i usually do is get around 200 ancient kc by killing these spiritual mages outside and when i have that i can bank pretty much like six or seven times with that kc we're going to be doing hopefully a long day of killing next today though, so I went a bit overboard, got 260 KC, and we did actually get an ancient ceremonial mask from these creatures as well, so that's like 30k or something. You might notice how many people we swap out all the time, because people usually don't want to do too many next kills in a row, so you're going to see a lot of different names on this grind. But that is 50 KC done, for the first blood essence drop as well. That oh, oh we yo, got told you, let's hit. go, I called it. Two kills ago. Yeah, actually you did. How much of a split is that? Like 12, That's 13, 17 mil. Oh, 17, 17 mil. mil. That's not that bad. Yeah. Oh, it's actually gone up in price. 19.3 million split in a three man for the most rare item you can get at next. It's unfortunate, but decent split anyways. Luckily, it's actually very difficult to crash people at next, unlike Corporeal Beast, where you can just enter at any time. As soon as the next fight has begun, the boss room is locked. But sometimes you enter the room and you have a world for yourself and then as soon as the boss fight is about to begin, someone or a team enters the room and just tries to steal your kill. They usually have very good gear and just try to out-DPS you to get MVP and get the item, but luckily I got the MVP this time. No unique was dropped either, so we didn't really risk anything. This is how dedicated I am to the next grind, I guess. In 30 minutes we're getting the infamous nerd log. That means we've been doing next for soon 6 hours straight with no break. Thanks.
Oh, someone got the pet. Oh, I did. What? I got the pet. Oh, that is so unfortunate. You guys have no idea. Yeah, this guy, Rogue Gandalf. I need to show you guys this guy's collection log because he was talking about it earlier. Look at this. He's only missing the pet. And he has so many kill counts. I feel so bad, man. But we got the pet, dude. It's one in 500. It's not super rare, but it looks so cool. Let's have a bit of a chat with it. Let's talk with the nextling. Flood my lungs with the blood. Now that sounds plain unhealthy. I would agree on that. You're not meant to take it literally. Fair enough. Fill your soul with smoke. Guess I don't have to take that literally either. But yeah, that looks so good. And of course, my collection log now looks like this. I have the pet, the Sarah Van Braces. Of course, we did get the hilt, but not in my name. So maybe we can get that in my name later as well. KC100. <laughs> Has to be something good. <sighs> Next kill, surely. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! oh we Yo! We got Sarah's Van Braces. <laughs> nice! Let's go. That's good I'm split. So happy. That's my first collection log. Yo! That was my first one as well, when I, except Nihil Shards when I got mine. Oh, I'm so happy. And what is the VAM split going to be for the second VAMS? 42.5. Wait, that's the exact same as the last one. Is Telecom scamming me a bit? I think it went up in price. I'll take it though. Always gotta go for the back-to-back. -back. Can we get anything good? Ah, supply drop though. That means we can do back-to-back -back kills. I just got 70 million hit points experience. I don't know if that's something I should flaunt or if I should hide as best as I can. Actually, a massive kill count coming in here. 129. That is the halfway point of the grind that we haven't seen a Nihil Horn just yet. So that means it's not uh, really looking too great for me on this challenge as we're risking roughly 120 million GP right now. Yet again, me and Max Nick are the only nerds online all the time to do next, so we had to try and send a duo because we really wanted the combat achievement completion, so we just sent it and this is what happened. Sorry, hey, big, hey, big, hey, big. Dude. Just stay alive, just stay alive. I'm trying, but I'm gonna die. Oh my god, come on, thanks, Beck. Yes! You got it, yes! For, oh let's wait, go, second. dude! I have no supplies left. Same! Oh, Hello. let's Next go! Achievement. Second try, that's insane. Whew, I had nothing left, dude. That I was the most nothing. intense Seven HP, one. 7 HP, 0 prayer. <laughs> I think I was like 20, or yeah, 20 HP something, the 0 prayer. I, I was so. Look at the, the kill time 1337. We are elite gamers. Oh, let's go! Look at that. That looks so good. 11 out of 11. It is now green. Another one down. And I've never really focused too much on combat achievements. So it's nice to just get them passively, I guess. We actually ended up sending a couple of more duos afterwards. And after every single kill, it just got faster and faster and more clean. So we might end up sending more duos in the future anytime anyone isn't online to do three months or four months. Because even though it's not as many kills an hour, it is definitely insane money if you would get a duo drop. And that's it. That's 150 KC done on X. And just today, I think we've done like 50 KC. So it's been a very long day. But I'm going to do just like two, three more kills and then go to bed. And tomorrow we probably have a long day ahead of us as well. So I just woke up and right after I left yesterday, Max Nick, one of my teammates I've been doing most of the kills with, did just a couple of more kills after I left with some other people. And look at this. The first kill after I left, he got a Torva Fulhelm in his name. I wish I stayed just for one more kill, but uh, hopefully we can get lucky and get a Torva piece today. Actually, for the first time on the entire grind, I've had to leave the prison to buy some new supplies. And I actually calculated how much money we've spent on supplies as I did this so far, including all the pre-pots, all the potions I'm using, blood shards, ammo, and all that. We've actually spent roughly 35 million in supplies in just 154 KC. So I guess if we end up going on rate for this item, we should expect to spend around 50 million in supplies. We started off today by doing a couple of trios, and a couple of kills in today, this happened. Oh, no way. We got it. Oh. We actually got it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I did Let's not go. That that oh, that's a massive split, if anything, for you guys as well. Yes. Yeah. 157 KC. Oh, my God. Look at the clown. Yes. Jesus. Oh, that my God. Beautiful. Dude, my heart is racing. So nice to have this done. Yes, that, that, oh, God. Done. Run. This, <laughs> oh, let's get out of here. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Go. We got to run. <laughs> 
As it turns out, it is actually more profitable to buy an Armadol crossbow, 250 Nihil shards, and use it on the Nihil horn to make your own Sarite crossbow. Doing this gives you like one more extra million GP when you sell it than just selling the Nihil horn, so we managed to do that as well, and the animation was kind of underwhelming, I'm not gonna lie. Let's try selling it for max price. Oh my god, it instantly sold. Okay, let's see how much it actually sold for. 430 million, 3 million more than the max price it stated on the GE tracker. I'll take that. That's a good split. 120. That's it? What do you mean that's it? <laughs> actually, I am scamming you. I am scamming you. Oh, you actually are? There you go. That's correct. 66k more. <laughs> that's a good split. There we are. It's a and massive put split. everything into the bank, I'm up to a 1.5 billion bank with that split. And with that concluded, we have all the spoils of the grind right here. The next pet... 246 million GP made on this grind, and also, of course, the two elite caskets, which we're going to open right now for 82k, and a unique briefcase. No way, I didn't even notice it. We got a gilded spear. No way, I'll put the drop rate on that on the screen right now. That is ridiculously rare from an elite out of everything as well. It's not even maybe on elites. I think it is on elites rare. There it is. I've got the third age Kai shield gilded square. And now the Gilded Spear as well. Unfortunately, of course, we never saw any of those Torva pieces. And the Ancient Hilt we did see, but not in my name. So in the future, I will probably have to go back to Nyx. And maybe try to get some of those. But until next time, guys, have a good one and take care.